Welcome back everyone to Cyclone Widowmine to top 100. We are getting closer and closer to the end of the series. We have reached Grandmaster. We are stuck a little bit. We have a few more opportunities to try and get top 100 Grandmaster. Let's do it. All right, first game of the day is gonna be against a 4-7 Protoss. I think I remember this guy from my Twitch chat, actually. Um, so that's gonna be a match. Now, the last episode, I believe we did get owned by Protoss a little bit. So today, I really hope I can uh, make up for that, get a dub on the board. Because yeah, last time we did play a fantastic TVZ, but yeah, obviously we do need all matchups to come together for me to be able to reach top 100 GM. Now, I think our rank, what did it say at the start? I think it was 123 or 125 or so. Which means we are not too far off. It's probably still about 100 MMR. But I've decided for myself that if we don't progress again, then I will probably trigger the grand finale. In case you guys are new to the show uh, or to the channel, let me just explain how the grand finale works. If I go into a grand finale for a series, I do two long episodes, usually about 45 minutes to an hour long, to give the series a nice end. Try all the strategies you want to try. Try to get the best games yet. And usually the grand finale always delivers. Most of the time we actually play the best game of the entire series in the grand finale. Uh, so that is going to be pretty epic. But yeah, if we fail to progress once more, I will trigger that grand finale. Uh, and we will get into Sky Terran to Grandmaster after that. Uh, but for now, let's focus on the game. I do not want to give up that easily. I think MMR was almost 5.4k. I feel like we did breach... 5.4k at some point so maybe we lost a little bit of mmr i'm not 100 sure if that is true that might have already been two episodes ago actually that we lost mmr i'm uh, not 100 sure since i run two challenges at the same time uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard to keep track where i actually did lose mmr uh, and where i didn't now this is a pretty good map to pressure on very fast because it's small so i'm gonna go for a marine who actually I didn't quite have enough minerals to start my factory from the start. I feel like I probably made a slight build order mistake, maybe. Ah, right. I was supposed to. I was supposed to either make a Reaper or go for barracks first. I did gas first and made a Marine, so my gas ratio was uh, a little bit off. Slight mistake here to start, but that's not big of a not that big of a deal. Obviously, I would rather make the mistakes now when it doesn't matter as much than uh, later into the game, right? So let's just pretend I've used up all my mistakes for that game, and that would be uh, very nice. Now, I just want to invite you guys one more time to come over to my Twitch channel. I have been streaming very actively almost every single day at new time zones as well. You can find the Twitch link in the description. If you're interested, come over and check it out, of course. And also, I have started trying to upload some shorts on my second channel. If you guys are interested on highlights of both my Twitch and my YouTube channel, you can check it out. It is, I think it might be under clips in the description. I'm not sure if I called it clips or shorts, but you can find it there. Uh, and I'm going to try for about a few weeks to upload it, so make sure to hop on over. Let me know what you think. If you think it sucks, also let me know. Probably write it a bit more polite with maybe a little bit, a little bit more constructive feedback than that. But, uh, you know, if, if it sucks, it sucks. And if you guys uh, help me improve it, that would be nice. I'm just trying some different formats and stuff because honestly i don't really know how to make shorts uh I'm, I'm just trying something it's not gonna be super advanced or anything but i thought it'd be a fun way to share highlights and especially for the people that can only watch on youtube don't have time for twitch it might be nice to catch some highlights of my twitch stream there as well because obviously uh, i produce highlights on both channels because i uh have a very weird playing style i've been doing challenges on my stream so you can imagine that there's also a lot of crazy highlights over there now, my opponent has not sent any unit out on the map. I think he probably knows I'm just stuck on one base here. I didn't see the probe scout come back to confirm anything, but probably realizes that I'm doing something a little bit crazy here. Now, one thing I haven't thought about is that I should probably be changing my portrait. Um, I mean, I thought about it before. I just haven't remembered to do it for this show, basically. It's just smart to change portrait. At some point, people will just remember my portrait and then, uh, you know, I might be in trouble. Now, the fact that there's an Adept there is a little bit scary because it could mean he's going for Stargate. I know it's not 100% tell, but uh, yeah, it, this, this does kind of look like a Stargate to me. Hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go back here. But actually, if it's an Oracle, maybe I can actually pressure because... Let's see. Oh, wait. My lock on actually canceled. That's rough. And I'm actually going to kill both of these Adepts. Okay, I'm just scared for phoenixes. That's the only thing I'm scared of. Like, with Stargate, is supposed to have phoenixes. And then you might actually be in a little bit of trouble. Now, here I can actually keep pressuring, honestly. Uh, even if he flies the Oracle to my base. I'm gonna have a Cyclone in time, I think. Let's see, he'll just lock that on. Yeah, now he has two. 
And now I need to lock onto both those stalkers. Like, I have Magfield here. Oh, he clicked away the wrong stalker. That is a massive moment. Oh, we're still gonna lose that, though. Okay, wait, I'm actually gonna escape with that one. No way. That is, well, I feel like I was really lucky there. That could have gone super wrong for me. I could have lost all those cyclos, but instead, I killed the Oracle. I saved one on, what is that, 10 HP? 9 HP. Okay, well, we gotta embrace the luck, too, guys. Can't, uh, can't always uh, outscale my opponent. Sometimes you do need to get a little bit lucky in StarCraft. It does happen. I guess I'm gonna get Drilling Claws here. Um, and I, I'm very comfortable with the amount of damage I did here, by the way. I feel like every time I did a good amount of damage, I was able to attack again later and uh, not necessarily end the game, but just get far enough ahead, deny the third base and stuff like that. And I feel like I should be able to do the same thing. In, in some ways, Stargate is really uncomfortable to play against. But in some ways, it's also better than playing against 4Gate Blink, I guess. 4Gate Blink is... Uh, Truly the challenge hunter. Uh, if, if you know. If a Protoss wants to beat me in my challenges. The best chance is usually to play 4 head Blink. Now I think. I am actually managed to save this barracks. I don't want to talk too fast. Because he'll, good chance he still finds it. But it seemed like it was going to die 100% for a few seconds. And now it's actually still alive. Which is nice. I mean I don't mind too much. I fly it across the map for a reason. And that is so I can lock onto my enemy's units. And get some damage done. And if, I, if it dies I just rebuild it. But even then. It is just nice to. Uh, yeah, not have to rebuild it, I guess. Can afford my CC a little bit earlier. Oh, this looks good. He's playing charge. I've, I've way too many uh, cyclones here, I think, guys. They didn't really shoot on the phoenixes. Can I keep this one alive? This one is alive. I want to keep everything here alive. Yes, there we go. So he was going for a really fast charge. Now, there's only one logical move here, and that's to go back and repair these units. I always say you guys are big fans of repair, but if my cyclers look this bruised, uh, even I am the biggest fan of repair, so here we go. A lot of times I just want to keep on the momentum and keep on pushing right, but here, uh, repairing definitely the, the right choice. Now, it's probably not going to take that long, and I saved most of my Widow Mines, or probably all of my Widow Mines, so I can actually go ahead um, and attack him again, and my attack is going to be pretty brutal, I want to say. Let's get those back repaired up. I'm curious if he's... He has a lot of... Does he have a third base, actually, or not? Or is he just memeing me? He, I feel like he must have a third base, right? Yeah, okay, at least. So he just went for straight charge instead of blink. Which is not that crazy, considering he's going phoenixes. But he did attack really early for his strategy. Like, I think ch charge uh, after phoenix is totally fine. But you're kind of supposed to wait for a critical amount of zealots before doing anything. Okay. Oh, I got so many lock-ons here. Look at the damage that the Cyclones are doing. That's crazy. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't bring mine. Oops, there we go. I, I, what I can do now is just put a minefield and run into the, the base. There we go. Gonna lose both of those. That's nice. And then... This is the move. And every bird of mines here. Oh, there it is. That was beautiful. Okay. For, it looked scary, but he, he, he could have dragged them over my army. But in the end, the micro was good enough. Like, check this out. If Let's say these mines all shoot these phoenixes. Uh, and they're, like, just over the cyclones. They could have actually killed, like, four cyclones, though. Cyclones probably a bit too tanky to die to that. But it's possible. I've actually... I, I think recently in DreamHack, I watched a game between Christiana and Hero Marine, And I saw a Widow Mine kill, like, five medevacs. So... Anything can happen, really. Anyway, this was a fantastic warm-up game. Units lost looking great. I don't think we were really in trouble this game. It was just smooth. Better than last episode's TVPs. Let's go to game number two. All right, second game against another Protoss. Now, I guess we are getting the chance at redemption here. It does make me a little bit nervous. This TVP after the last episode, I'm not completely sure, especially with those blink all that have been tough. Uh, I've been playing this challenge a little bit on my stream as well, and... Yeah, the 4 get Blink, it's, it's just absolutely terrifying to play against, so... And on this map, it is pretty likely we're gonna see 4 get Blink. You have, like, this massive amount of Blink in space in the back of your base. I'm trying to think of a strategy I could potentially do to counter it early on. You know, something I haven't tried against Protoss is basically my strategy against Zerg, which is... The non-stop mine drops, right? I wonder if there's a way I can actually do it fast and survive. The problem is... I'm only allowed to make Cyclones. So what that means is that if I go for fast Widowmine drops, I can probably not afford getting Cyclones out. So if I get attacked, my army is literally going to be a few Widowmines, you know. Uh, and I'm not quite sure if that's going to work out, but I do definitely want to try it, see if it works. Like a new strategy against Protoss is always welcome. 
Uh, I talk about it a lot, I think, against Protoss in general. I mean, obviously, I'm already playing pretty weird, but uh, against Protoss in general, you really want to play builds that throw them off. Like, you don't want Protoss to get too comfortable. If they get too comfortable, they get their 3 base set up with 66 probes, and you're not going to be in too fantastic of a spot. You at least want to force them to make mistakes, you know. Uh, maybe delay the third base, delay some critical tech buildings, and that's the way to go. So maybe if I go for this build, it could actually be exactly what I was looking for. I'm playing gas first, so this game I am going to make a reaper. I have not been probe scouted yet, so I am getting a little bit suspicious, I have to admit. There's one build that's actually really good on this map. Uh, and is proxying his target in the back base. You see how there's a back base right here? Behind the main. Uh, so you can build a proxy there and kind of like make batteries. And then you're like in your... In the Terran's mineral line already, right? I, I think it might even work against Protoss, but it is a little bit risky because you have to build it there. Um, but still, it is a pretty sick strategy, so I'm definitely gonna check if there's anything there. Okay, so he's on one base, or uh, he's expanding, sorry. So we're probably gonna be totally fine. Uh, he made a second pylon as well, has a second gas. Don't think we really have anything to worry about. I am still gonna keep my Reaper back. And it's just because some Protoss players send their probe all the way around when they scout. So they would, for example, scout for a proxy here and then send it here and then into the natural. And if the probe would arrive while I'm switching my buildings here, he could block my reactor. And then the game almost just ends because, you know, I'm going to have to pull SEVs to kill one probe. He's going to make a pylon. My reactor is just going to be useless and it's it's going to be unpleasant, right? So um, <laughs> I'm just going to make sure to prevent that, keep my Reaper at home for a little bit. Now, one thing that is scaring me is that I don't have units for an Adept. Normally with this build, what you do is you make Hellions first. So you actually have like some kind of combat units. So if an Adept comes up, you actually do have units to deal with it. Now, I'm not going to have those. So I'm not sure what happens if he just sends... Yeah, he is sending a unit to my base, else he wouldn't make a battery. Unless his build just sucks. Uh, which is possible, of course. I'm gonna kill Pro Bear, that's nice. Wait, did he go for a sentry... F oh wait, maybe it's just a sentry first. Oh yeah, I think he just played sentry first. I've, I've... Oh, double sentry, okay. This is getting a little bit crazy. Huh. Mass sentry opener. The only person I've seen play like this is Fighting Frog, which is a 6k MMR Protoss. So it's definitely a viable option, but I think the main reason to play this is just to get mass scouting. Uh, one of the best ways Protoss can scout early on is with Hallucinated Phoenixes. And that is just evidently what he's going for. Now that's why I'm spreading out these mines. Ah, he didn't fly into it. That is very unfortunate. I'm not sure how he just dodged that. Oh, now he's going to fly into it. That's great. Um, he doesn't know I have an armory, but he does know I'm doing mass widow mine drops. So he'll have a lot of opportunity to counter them already. Wait, how do I have four? Yeah, you see, he's just non-stop scouting. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, fast third base, non-stop scouting. I don't think this is super scary, to be fair. Um, because what this means is that he's not gonna... Wait, where's he going with his units? Why is he going there with his units? He's crazy. He's not gonna have too many um, units. Let's see. I'm gonna put this here. He doesn't have blink! Oh my god, that's actually very painful. Wait, my armory... My, oh, my armory's not finished yet. Oh no. That's a little bit of a disaster. He does have a robo already anyway, so... It doesn't really matter that much. Now, where is the rest of my stuff? I must have a meta... Did I... Oh no, I didn't make a medevac. Ooh, that is a... Yeah, a little bit of a disaster actually, guys. No medevac means no harassment, which is... Uh, definitely gonna put me a little bit behind here. Pretty big mistake by me. Cannot lie about it. That is a, a massive blunder, actually. More than just a little bit of a mistake. But I guess we're still gonna keep trying, of course. And here's my second factory coming up. Now, he's not gonna have Blink. Um, at least I think he... Uh, there's no way he has a Twilight, right? With the freaking triple sentry into Robo Bay opener. So, I am basically gonna be able to drop forever until he gets Blink. And it's gonna be decent. But am I ever going to get an army up that's decent? That I am not convinced of. Yet, at least. Now, let's see how many workers he has here. Twilight, Council, Forge. I'm not even sure if that one's going to be for Blink or Charge at this point. It really could be anything. I'm just going to keep spamming Medivax. There we go. The only thing I don't have is Drilling Claws. I think we're actually going to start that now. Even before my Cyclones. There we go. Going to run these away. Pop this one in the main. There's an observer right there. Yeah. Probably not worth dropping. 
And I know sentries don't have too much DPS, but I feel like they would still kill it in time. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave that for later. I'll saturate this base. He does have a better base than me. Like I know we're both on three bases, but this back base actually doesn't have as many patches. I mostly just took it because it, it's very safe, and I don't have units, so I don't want to die to anything silly. Of course, I'm gonna get my mag field up. Drop is hitting the main. Ah, oh, he's making turrets. That's unfortunate. I need. To oh, this one's gonna hit big. Finally, let's go. Yeah, I was worried I was not going to get any big hits, but this one was massive. And maybe now he's not paying attention. Can pop... No. Okay. He was paying attention. That's unfortunate. Uh, I do have another medivac ready to go, I believe. There we go. Now, at some point, it's going to stop being useful for me to drop. I just don't know if I should actually stop dropping. Because I don't really have much play other than that. Like, I need to get a lot of cyclones up. Otherwise, I can't contest the Colossus. And... I'm not sure if, um, you know, mass dropping is good or not. I can at least get my armor upgrade so I don't get demolished as easily by the Colossi. There we go. It's probably wise for me to get some planetaries. I don't know if I have the time for it, but I would love to get some planetaries up. I'm just going to send these everywhere. Not key that one. I'm actually going to YOLO and take it on location. There must be an observer here somewhere. I didn't actually see it. Maybe he's keeping them at home. Okay, I'm just going to go for this. There we go. Oh, there! no way there's a High Templar there, of all things, guys. Holy sh... That's actually insane. And maybe he's not looking here, though. This could be massive. Oh, this could be a massive shot. Wow! Yeah, that's actually a pretty cool play. You know, I'm pretty happy with that one. Now, do I have more pressure? I feel like I should have had... Oh, I had this medevac. Okay. Perfect. Now, I, I feel like he's not going to expect another one into the main. So, let's see. They do have drilling claws at this point, which is huge. Watch this one. Bam. Oh. Actually, no wall. I got owned a little bit there by the ping. You guys saw that, right? Like, I was, I targeted it in time, I believe, but it's still shot. That's unfortunate. I think my ping is about 170, if you guys are wondering, so. Um, yeah, I feel like we've not done enough damage, guys, sadly. But maybe if I get some more PFs up, there's a chance. I'm gonna just send out all my units at this point. What does he really have? He has plus one attack. Which is reasonable. Like, he doesn't have crazy good upgrades or anything. So, at least we have that going for ourselves. It's the same upgrades as us. But I would normally expect the product... Why did my cycles not lock on? I guess I did actually lock all of them onto that. Uh, normally, I would expect products to have better upgrades. So, this is pretty decent. Uh, I'm actually going to send them one by one here. So, first we send this one. Let's see. Oh, looks like this might get some hits. Yeah, oh, really good hit, actually. Let's freaking go. That is baller. Now, does he have this base? He does not have this base. Let me pop this mine down. It's probably going to get his nice shot off. Damn, there we go. Beautiful. Now, I need to get a PF here, too. Oh, maybe he took the base in the top, actually. I need to uh, pay attention to that. Like, I really cannot allow him to get a fourth base. Then he just gets too rich. He gets maxed really fast. And it's going to end painfully for us. So, and you really need to keep this in mind. Uh, I made a CC somewhere. Where Where is the... Oh, there it is. Mm. Ooh. Uh, if he didn't have that pylon, I would have I would have killed the Nexus, maybe. Actually, he was relatively in position. Okay. Here we go. Hey, he's following me, looks like. I need to get the prism. I need to get the prism. Ah, oh, I misclicked on my units, I think. Oh, I'm gonna get the sentries, though. That is huge. Yeah, I mean, I only have one option here, and that option is to base trade. Like, I, I'm not gonna pretend I can deal with that army at all. So, uh, there is that. Let's see. Oh, actually, he's actually attacking into the PF. If he does that, I have a chance. Is he gonna come back for it? No, I wish he came back for this. Oh. I got the, uh, the prism, though. That is huge. Rest is gonna go into the main here. Oh, he's actually... He's going with everything. Wow, this is going to be a little bit of a crazy base trade. Um, yeah, I have one option here, and that's doing this. I'm going to go instantly for the corner base. I don't feel like I can really deal with it otherwise. Let's see. Get this last neck, Or well, not the last Nexus, but you know what I mean. Okay, well, mines are going to get decent shots off. Okay, I got the probes. Does he have the back base now? He doesn't. Oh, I actually did lose a few of my units here. That does suck. Okay. I'm actually going to get some factories up here. 
I mean, I feel like I definitely have some potential here. It's just not uh, not easy. It's just, this should be the last Nexus, I believe. Let's see. Oh, I keep trying to... Ah, wait, the, the Widow Mines... No, no, they don't, actually. I just misclicked, I think. I was going to say, the Widow Mines override the Cyclones, but I'm pretty sure I just misclicked. I got the Colossus, I believe. No, I'm out of range. That's unfortunate. Oh, he might have a Nexus alive some... No, he doesn't actually have a Nexus alive. Then I'm just going to escape here. And that should be... Oh, did I just... <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure I just killed my own uh, Cyclone there. That's a slightly unfortunate move. Happens to the best guys. <laughs> there we go. Get a few more lock-ons. She would like to repair these. Oh, I only made one factory on accident. Oh, that sucks. I guess I should bring these back. I mean, to be fair, with the... Um, with the planetary being up, I really feel safe. Like you can see he is still uh, revealed. I'm actually going to evacuate these SUVs here real quick. Get some turrets around here. Like, I'm going to have a bunch of PFs. And I can't imagine that I'm going to get... Uh, broken with the army he has. That's really good. I need to try and get these repairs off. There we go. This is actually misplaced and should probably move it. It's a bit of a risky move, but it's probably worth it here. Now, this would be a sick base trade to win because I, I had actually no chance of killing his army, so uh, this would be a little bit of a miracle. Uh, but I do think it looks like we're doing it, so that's, that's pretty sick. Let's see. Did I make my barracks? I did not make my barracks. That sucks. Now, how can I deal with the army is the question. I could maybe go for, like, the elimination instead. Um, I think it might be smarter for me to just pick off units one by one, though. Like, I do have two factories building. Like, for example, this could be huge. This could actually be huge. I think I got two Cyclones. Or two Colossus. Yeah, there we go. And he can't blink forward. I actually have too many. Oh. Massive mistake, and I think that might be the game there. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful. I think we have actually done it, guys. Whew, okay, 30-minute base rate against Protoss. Now, this one was definitely looking rough at some point. My opponent was doing a fantastic job, but... Uh, he had a really tough decision. He had to either come back, kill my army, but instead he let me kill everything. I think the best chance he would have had is, I can actually show it to you guys, is he should have gone in, in the middle. Because if he kept the stalkers at home, if he warped a few more, like when did it happen? Let's see. If he warped a few more zealots, like wait, oh, I was a little bit too far, sorry. Not the best replay controlling skills here. Okay, check this out here. He has a bunch of stalkers. If he has a little bit of patience, warps in like a few more zealots, fights with the probes. Maybe sends, maybe sends like these zealots back, for example, warps a few more. He can deal with these cyclones, keep these Nexi alive, and then completely kill everything I have with this army. But instead, he really sent everything across the map, um, lost all of his bases, and then... The game becomes relatively easy. Uh, definitely not easy, but he cannot break a PF with an army like this. Like, the army is a little bit too small. He would have to sacrifice so much. Maybe he could pounce on it when my army is not present, but otherwise too risky. So, I think I made the right moves. Very happy with this win as well. An awesome base straight win against a high-tech Protoss army. Let's move on to game number three. Ah, Lorimbo. Wait, I remember Lorimbo. Is it Lorimbo the guy who... No, actually, I'm not sure. I feel like the Rimbo is the guy who passed in the middle of the game to have a have a chat with me. I, I, I feel like it's him. I think it was on this map too. But it could have been someone else. But I feel like we've either replayed against him and his name looks like that guy or it is the same guy. Uh, so let's see. 5.3k Zerg, definitely going to be a challenge. Now, in the last episode, uh, we figured out how to play TVZ a little bit better. And that is by just going for a very, very similar setup to the Mass Raven episodes. Which is to go for that 5cc planetary fortress lock it down style. Because kind of what happened to me, the reason I was losing, I figured it out after thinking about it for a bit. Is that if you don't make a good defensive setup and move out with Cyclone Mine, you're simply just going to die to attacks. Like if you don't have enough planetaries, which is like at least two. So in this map, for example, I'd want one here and one here and then one here. So whatever, whatever fight my opponent takes... I can, be, I can be able to drag him into two different planetaries. If you don't have that, they just kind of tend to A-move through your army. Because all Cyclones can do is run away and kite. You cannot kill 400 Zerg units uh, in, in, in one session of kiting. So you lose all your bases and it just goes downhill from there. So I'm going to go for a 5cc setup while doing Drilling Claw Mind Drops. And I feel like I played a similar style against him the last time we played. 
but back then I didn't quite have the defensive setup. So I'm gonna play a little bit more defensive and still drop all the widow mines and stuff. Now I'm actually one thing I'm not quite sure about is what the biggest counter is to my style from a Zerg perspective. Normally it feels pretty obvious, like oh no, please don't go for mutas or whatever, you know. But here I'm actually not quite sure what the best thing is they can do against me. Like what am I really the most scared of? It's not mutas. And on one hand you would say it's the late game because what are Cyclone Mines gonna do against Investor Brutlord, right? But what they can do is just run around and snipe all the bases and then you kind of start playing into my strengths because if there's one thing I like to do is use my multitasking and create the game a little bit chaotic so at the same time you know even though a straight up fight you get absolutely destroyed it is probably still not the best option so I really wonder what the best way to do is uh, to deal with it is and I'm pretty sure oh that's a lot of zerglings guys this is actually problematic um, hopefully oh he's cheesing me okay yeah, okay that is okay then um yeah, I wish I played Reaper here, guys. The problem is, he should probably back off knowing that I scouted him. But if he doesn't, it's going to be good for him. Uh, and it's because I went for a Marine first. Didn't make a second Marine because I'm going for Cyclones. Guys, I could lose this CC in almost the game instantly if he just goes with his six Zerglings. I just need to hope... Okay, I, I just need to hope that he, you know, didn't underestimate me, knew I would counter it appropriately. Now we are actually going to be in trouble. No, he, he's chasing this, Zerg, this uh, SCV, which is super good for me. He could have killed that CC 100%, I think. Like, denied it or forced me to pull a lot of SCVs. This is the best thing that possibly could have happened. And our life has been saved, I believe. Oh, no, it's it's link speed. Never mind. <laughs> okay, that, then it's... Uh, yeah, still bad for us. Yeah, I, 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 sh I should have noticed. That, um, to give you guys a tip here, I wasn't paying enough attention, but this hatchery was... Um, how do you say this? Not far enough in production. So it had to be link speed as well. Because uh, there's also no way you use that much gas for... Ah, that's, that almost died. It really should have died. Um, you don't use that much gas just to make roaches. He had almost 200 gas mines. So I actually saw all the signs of link speed. I just didn't uh, react to it. So that's completely my bad. If you do good scouting... I'm actually a little bit upset at that. Because I really like to teach you guys good scouting. So you don't get owned by these silly things yourself in the future. So uh, that is a little bit unfortunate. And I do think his build might be a really strong counter here. So I guess we maybe have found the strongest counter they can do. So I guess we'll see. Here we go. Okay, let's use these on that. I'm gonna get the lock on on both Ravagers though. Yo, that's actually not that bad maybe. And now we pull them back. There we go. Did I lose too many? Like I really don't want to lose any more SCVs. Okay. I guess I'll have to. No. Okay. You know what? That was actually not that bad. I thought it was gonna be way worse but we've actually managed to survive which is sick. Um, I do need to get a repair off on this Cyclone. There we go. And then we just kind of plug the wall. I, th I think this is you can pass here, right? There, yeah, you can pass here. All right, we actually managed to survive. I really thought that was gonna, that looked like a disaster for a second. But with some good SCV micro, good Cyclone micro, we actually managed to get away with it, which is really good news. Uh, I do think if you play a build like this, by the way, Normally against Zergo Lins, you do not want to lose any workers. But if they go for that much gas, Link Speed plus Ravager, you're usually okay. <laughs> okay, confirm that it was the same guy. Fuck. <laughs> I, I actually, I, I was 100% convinced he knew it was me. Because his build seemed like it would be uh, a good counter to my Cyclone style. And like I said in the first game maybe i'm still using the same portrait i've been using all the time so all right well we have survived that is good no i don't think this game is over by any means but because i did make a third cc i'm starting to think i might actually be ahead after that um i don't know how many scvs i lost uh, so we'll see I, I guess we're having a chat again uh i, I i'm not gonna, i'm gonna be honest guys i don't really like chatting during the game that much especially when i'm doing commentary because i I have a hard time concentrating if I'm talking to, to you guys and to this guy and playing at the same time. But obviously I'm not going to tell him to shut up or anything. <laughs> it's also not what I want to. But uh, I'm probably not going to be chatting back too much. So I can actually focus on uh, talking to you guys as well. Now I did forget my starport for a little bit. Or no, I should have gotten my armory first actually. There we go. Let's see. I could... Should I fly my barracks across, maybe? I, th I think links fit in between there, right? Yeah, 100%. Okay. It even looks like a cyclone fits in between there if you change the angle. 
Um, so wait, did you say it was a streamer? Ah, he was a streamer as well. I actually uh, didn't know that. That's good to know. Hope he's doing good on his stream then. Uh, I hope he's not streaming right now because he, he seems a little bit upset about, uh, you know, failing his all-in. I still don't think this game is over by any means though, so I'm gonna have to keep focusing here. My CV count seems very low. That's a, a little bit of a problem here. Um, let's see. Yeah. My drilling claws... I don't know if I want to drop mines without drilling claws, you know. Like, you see my drilling claws is gonna start now. It's gonna take... 79 seconds like if i drop without drilling claws it feels like a little bit of a waste so i'm trying to you know kind of find the balance here i want to put pressure but i don't want to waste my units at the same time which is actually as terror that's a pretty hard balance to find i feel like i see with a lot that terrors are just like you know like setting their units all over the place uh and then oh crap i lost all my units and didn't really kill that many drones that does happen don't worry guys it happens to me too it's not just you guys uh, i guess i'll just send it far around the map on the bottom so by the time it arrives uh we will have drilling claws um oh okay should have been ready for that I'm, I'm always just terrified of like a million zerglings to be fair I feel like a million zerglings around would really just own my cyclones here, so... Wait, he doesn't have that back base. No lair in the main. Doesn't have to mean anything. Sometimes they just build it... Uh, sometimes they just build it on the, on the natural, right? That is actually not, not too uncommon. Oh, I, the barracks took a lot of damage. I think what I'm gonna do here is actually... Uh, maybe I can still save that. I'm gonna try and save it. But I'm also just gonna make three more factories at the same time, so... You know, if it does die, it's not the biggest deal ever. There we go. Let's get all these in. Where did my medevac go? Actually, so oh, that is a massive attack, guys. Can we survive that attack? That that actually looks terrifying. Holy. Okay. I'm just going to have to do some really good kiting here. Let's go. You guys can go into the main. Oh, this is going to be a rough one. I, I, do, I feel like we have the potential. Okay. Nice. I did get all of those burrowed, so that's really good. And now we can maybe A move a little bit here. Get those back involved. I mean, I have enough Cyclones here, I think. If I kill his workers. If I kill all of his workers. Or, uh, yeah, all of his workers with my uh, mines. I'm, all I have to do is survive here, I think. I'm not even going to pull these SCVs right now. Because I'm a little bit trapped here. There we go. Come on, the boys. The Biles missed. That is really good for us. Let's see. Come in. Okay, the SCVs are coming. Now I'll be able to clean these up. Split those for the bios a little bit. I did take one bio on my SCVs, which is rough. But I think we have managed to survive. And all of his workers are dead. Now, does he actually have a third base? I'm not even sure if he has another base. I think I should do another Widow Mine drop. We've actually fucked the mines. Oh, poor guy. GG, there you go. Yeah, the mines did a little damage here. Uh, without the mines... Actually, how many works did he have? Oh, yeah, look at the worker count. I had 23 against 14. The Widow Mines... Wait, actually, he killed... Oh, my God, he killed 63 workers. I mean, it's easy to forget that this game started with him all inning, right? So I've only killed 27, which means... I didn't kill any before, I believe, right? So he was at 41. Uh, 41 workers against 23 would have been pretty tough. I do think even without the mines... We're probably still in an advantage because he had very few drones. I had seven cyclones and I would have traded better at home, right? If I didn't have the mines in a drop. So I think this was a very solid game. We stopped the all-in that looked really scary. Now let's move on to a final game four. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness. The final game of the day against an almost 6k Terran, guys. What is this madness? Why am I playing against a 6k Terran? I guess that is my punishment for winning three games in a row. Uh, this is a little bit funny, by the way. The last game opponent messaged me after the game asking... What should I actually be doing against the Cyclo Mine? And it's really funny because that's what I was talking about at the start of that, you know. I'm also not sure what the best counter is. It is obviously counterable, as it is not a popular style in pro gameplay. But besides, like, playing well, I'm actually not quite sure what, what, the, what the unit counter is. I do think, thinking about it, you could probably just go for a Roach Max and A move straight through. Because if you do a powerful Roach Max, a few Cyclones and Mines are probably not going to stop you, I think. But, uh, yeah, it is uh, it is definitely a little bit complicated. So I think it's either Roach Max or maybe like Ravager, Link Bane, straight A move um, through the middle. Try to get big attacks going. Uh, but you're still always going to have to struggle defending the mind drops and stuff, right? Like, you definitely need to be on point. Split, have detection, have your queens ready and stuff, uh, which is not that easy. Now, against this Terran... Yeah, I mean, we've played a lot of struggle games against Terran with Cyclone Mine. I think for the most part, we just need to be um, a little bit lucky. Excuse me, with how things unfold. 
I think the, the best play we have is going for Doom Jobs into the main. If we get to that point, that is going to be pretty epic, but, uh, but we'll see. Now, a 5-9 Terran is definitely high. I think the highest Terran I've actually beaten is probably Rainer's Terran, right? Uh, in that one game where he did, like, some kind of weird, like, all in and I sniped his base and stuff. Uh, I think he was about almost 5-8. So this Terran is even 150 MMR higher than Rainer's Terran. That should show you guys how, uh, you know, how good this Terran is really going to be. Now, there's always a chance they go for something crazy. I feel like the best, uh, the best chance I have is a lot of these high MMR players... They just go for a crazy build. Like, they'll quite literally go for... You know, I mean, here he's just playing a Reaper Expand, so that's already off the table. And I was going to say, very often they'll just go for, like, a Reaper Expand. Or, or, sorry, a Proxy Reaper. And I defend it, and I can be ahead, win with a counter and stuff. Um, and that would be my best chance here. Sadly, it's not going to happen. I'm actually going to try to attack him with uh, my Reaper, though. It's always a decent chance you get some damage done with that. Sadly, since I'm playing on ping... It's most likely not going to do damage, but it's still worth trying, I think, at least. Here we go. Get that CC on the natural. Make uh, probably just infinite cyclones with Magfield. And yeah, I'm definitely going to fly my barracks across. There's a good chance he's going to go for a bunker hold. Let's see. If he has a marine, I just have to run away. No marine here. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to be able to deny this for a little bit at least. Yeah. Oh, that's actually really unfortunate. Because of ping, I can't really micro this. So I'm just going to have to go into the main. Wait, why is that... Why is there no add-on on the barracks? That's a little bit crazy. Oh, I actually got the SCV too. Yo, this is going super well actually somehow, guys. I killed that SCV. I can't escape here, but I can buy a little bit of time. So he has a second... Huh. That's kind of strange the way he's playing. I could maybe punish it. You know, this build order is not looking bad for me, guys. Because it looks like he's going to go for two Reapers and one Hellion to me. Um, and then I could actually go in with my Cyclone. I don't think I can go in against... I don't think I can go in against uh, three Reapers, though. So I need to kind of gamble. It didn't look like he was producing. So maybe I can actually just go for it. If he has a mine, that's going to be rough. Let's see. Oh, huge! Okay, so we went for it. What is this build? Guy, I'm not gonna lie. This build makes no sense. This build this build is actually crazy. Uh, he made Reaper, Reaper, Reaper Marine without an add-on. Um, yeah, I mean, I would love to say that this is a build I've seen, I seen in the Pro League from, uh, you know, 2015 or whatever. But I, I have no idea what this is. Uh, this is actually a little bit crazy. Now, he's making more Hellions. Let's see, we got another lock on. This is a really good start again. Like, we are doing so much damage here. It's actually get, getting a little bit crazy. There we go. That's gonna die as well. He's losing so much stuff. To just this, like, very minimal pressure, really. He's even gonna lose that. Oh, what does he have in there? Wait. What did he do? He's gonna lose the medevac, guys. What is the medevac doing here? This is an absolute disaster for this guy. Guys, what is going on? I, I really don't know what we're playing against. I'm so confused right now. This is the highest MMR player we've ever played against. And I have no idea what he's doing. He's going for like a battle cruiser maybe or something? That cycle is gonna die instantly, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, I, there must be something on the way. Like at least a battle cruiser or, or something crazy, you know? Else I have no idea. Like, I really don't. Oh, he's a landed Viking. Okay, I need to keep my... Uh, Factory or uh, barracks a little bit closer so I can actually lock on. There we go. Now I'm gonna get the lock on. That Viking's gonna die immediately. There we go. <laughs> what on earth? Okay. I mean, there must be a tank out on the way. Now, yeah, there we go. And now he's finally gonna stabilize. Oof, okay. I mean, now we're massively ahead. Um, now I can only hope that I don't really mess this up. Right. He has another Viking somehow. Got another lock on there, that's great. I'm, I'm very con strongly considering going for the siege tank there. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. There we go. That is a siege tank dead. Um, which is, you know, it's not necessarily a fantastic trade, but it's just gonna be keeping my options open for later, really. And I think I'm just gonna go for triple factory. Maybe I can save that, actually. If he leaves it alone. I'm gonna launch a mule there. I know it's a little bit crazy, but... No, don't make it Reapers. Okay, let's get it out of here, too. 
Probably has, yeah, I was gonna say. Probably has more stuff. Now, I don't necessarily need the minerals that much because I'm playing uh, some kind of weird mech, right? So, it's all good. Normally, I would never launch a mule there. I, I know it's a, it's a tempting tactic, guys, but normally I would really not go for that. Now, what is my plan now? Uh, since he's been playing so... I'm actually gonna scan his base. So, he's just making more barracks. Does he have a hidden base, maybe? I feel like that could be a, a thing that's going on. I do not want to lose a game against a high MR player like this after getting ahead to a hidden base. If he outplay, uh, if he outplays me from being behind, I can live with that. You know, I would I would be upset for sure, but I can live with that. But if I lose to a hidden base, that is uh, going to be very painful. So we're going to try to avoid that at least. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm still not sure what his build was. I, he, he for sure was going for some kind of medevac drop, but then I killed his units before the medevacs came out. Um, and then he just kind of left his medevac there to heal his SCVs and die. So there's no hidden base on the map. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get two tanks. Oh my god. I'm gonna get three tanks, guys. What is this madness? <laughs> I got every single siege tank. <laughs> this is literally the best game ever for us. This game could not have gone better in any way. I've killed all of his units, guys. And I'm gonna kill the other tank. <laughs> what on earth is happening? I cannot believe this game. This guy must be absolutely shook as well. Guys, what? We have absolutely obliterated the 6k Terran. Absolutely obliterated. I lost 1150 resources against 4300. I, I, I don't know what to say. This is absolutely insane. This is this might be the craziest win in the history of our challenges. An opponent we should have no chance against got absolutely obliterated. This game looked like I was playing in platinum almost. Like, this was crazy. Besides him macroing very well, of course, because he did macro really well. But besides that, it looked like I was just kind of stomping on a plat. And this guy was 6k. Absolutely incredible dub. Uh, and besides that, yeah, I guess that's just going to be end of today's series. Amazing episode. I think we did win every single game. We beat some good grand masters and we beat this guy which is insane hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all for the next one adios